need some holiday decor storage tips? Well, this is the place, the right place for you. We're about to talk about some of my favorite tips and right now, right after this intro. So stay tuned. Hello, my name is Casey Gray, your homegirl broker associate here in Ukiah and holiday fanatic. It is October right now. My tree will be going up, you know, as soon as November hits. I love Christmas. I love decor. I love holiday decor. So holiday decor storage is important to me. We're going to talk about holiday decor, how to stay on top of it and feel organized and excited about next year, you know, after you pack it all up. So tip number one, if you don't love it, toss it. You know, if you're not going to use it this year and it's not even cute anymore, it's from 42 years ago, if it's from 42 years ago, maybe save it. If it's from last year's Dollar Tree spot and you just went a little wild with the little sleds because they were only $3, then you didn't use them. Just throw, just donate them. Put them on Instagram. Say, hey friends, I got these sleds. You want them? Come get them. Pick them up on my porch. They're yours for $15 or whatever it might be. I mean, don't charge more. <laughs> if you have 15 sleds, then maybe charge $15, but don't charge more than what you bought them for. That's just weird. Number two is to keep wreaths hanging. If you can, then they'll be able to breathe. They'll be able to keep their shape. So if you have room in your attic or wherever you store your things, if you can keep them hanging, ideal. House and Hens had a wonderful hanging solution in her guest room, but since then she's created a child, so she'll be using that as her nursery, I'm sure. But if you can keep them hanging, then that's wonderful. If not, you know those bags that, uh, well, they have these little donut things that you can put them in, but also I put mine in old comforter bags, like they're, you know, the big box ones, and they work wonderful. So keep the, that in mind when buying new comforters and keep those bags for your wreaths. Tip number three is to store your decor out of the way, especially the holiday decor. There's no reason to keep Christmas plates in your kitchen at all times. It's unnecessary, not useful. So put that with the rest and put it in the garage or out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to look at it until next year. I know I'm guilty of keeping Christmas mugs in my mug cabinet because they're just so cute, but put them away. It's fine. You can, you, you'll see them next year. It's, it's okay. You can put them away. It's fine. I'm giving you this pep talk. I mean, me, this pep talk. Tip number four is keep it simple. You know, this tip I'm not the greatest at because I love Christmas decor and I just can't stop buying it. So if you have main pieces that you love, if you have a consistent theme, you know, if you stick to that, you're going to feel so much better and less overwhelmed when you pull down those 18 totes and have to start going through everything. So keep that in mind when setting up this year, try to purge, try to get rid of some of the things that you're not gonna use or aren't as timeless or as useful as you might've once thought they were. So keep that in mind. If you have any holiday storage tips, drop them down in the comments below. I would love to know them because like I said, love Christmas, love storage, love organizing, love decor. So I would love to know your tips down below if you have any, and I will see you in the next video. And store your decor properly.